Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5046740 because of this error code that is 0x800F081F. So if you're receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to start app readiness service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now over here you can see app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now you can update, still not updating. The next step is to move WinRE agent folder to different locations. So you can open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now if you see WinRE agent folder over here, you can just copy this file to desktop to create a backup. Now if you don't see this folder, Click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see WinRE agent folder. But still, if you don't have this folder, you can skip this step and then follow the next step. But if you have this folder, you can create a backup first. So you can copy this folder. You can put it to the desktop maybe. Now, once you have a backup over here, now you can delete this folder. Now, once you delete this folder, now open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update or install the update over here. If the update is installed successfully, then restart you can build. And if the update is installed successfully, in that case, once the update is successful, you can just, you can copy this folder or you can cut this folder and you can put it back to the C drive once the update is complete. Now still not updating, the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open windows settings go to system and then go to troubleshoot now over here you can see other troubleshooter click on it now you will see windows update click on run and let the process complete once the troubleshooter the troubleshoot is complete you can update your windows 11 restart your computer and then update your windows 11. Next step is to restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Services. Now for this, again, type in Services in Windows search box and then click on Services. Now find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down and here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set it to Automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. With Windows Update selected over here, you can just make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart or Start. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK, make a right click on it and then click on restart. Now you can update your Windows 11 and then check. Now still not working, the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description, open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website over here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant so click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then if there is any update in my case it's already up to date but if you see update option or install opt install option install it and then restart your computer now the next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now on this website, you can write down the name of the update. That is KB5046740. And then click on search. Now over here, you can see Windows 11 version 24H2 X64 base system. You can check the system in Windows setting. Uh, you can go to system and then you can go to scroll down go to about and over here you can see x64 bit processor so for me it's x64 base system so this is the right one click on download and then you will see the screen over here you will see windows 11 uh, kb50 sorry kb5046740 click on it and then once the download is complete you can click on this file run this file and then you can install this update manually you can even install this update and then restart your computer now the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here 
and then open notepad on your computer so type in notepad in windows search box open notepad paste all the entry over here then go to file now click on save as name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and you can set the location to desktop now go now once save now go to desktop make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you run this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete now this process will take some time because it has multiple commands first of all it will start stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are multiple scans so the scan will take some time once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and once this is done you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can update your windows 11 and then check now still not working then in that case use media creation tool to update your windows 11 so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which is ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel